Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Shasha SJ. Thank you so much for coming by today on my channel. I am so happy that you are here today. Today we are going to make another DIY from the Dollar Tree as usual. We are going to make another gnome. It's been requested so you won't believe what I used today. So check them out. And yeah, let's get started. <music> All right, guys, what we are going to need first is a mop. You won't believe it. It's a mop, a hat, and another hat. I want this one because there's already a poofy on there on that hat already. So two hat and an ornament. And this is what I want, the ornament. This is also from the dollar store, okay guys? And a doorknob. This is optional. I don't know if we are going to use this or not, but let's put that aside. Another ornament. I don't know this one either, if we're going to use it, but I want that. A vase filler. As you can see, I almost used my whole vase filler bag. And yes, ping pong balls. I don't have a clear ping pong balls, but I have these Halloween ping pong balls. Why not? So I'm just going to cover it anyway. So I'm going to use it. A rock. Yes, a rock felt. This is what I'm going to use, this color. And if you have a heart wooden one, I got this one from the... Goodwill. It used to have like three hearts in it and have some decorative in there. So I peel it out and yeah, this is optional if you need this one. Okay, this is just a sample. So face it out. Okay, with this heart one. But I want to show you guys something what you can do for this particular project that we are going to make okay so if you don't have this it's fine if you have some of this it's perfect you can paint it or what okay but I just want to leave it like that okay so this is just an optional okay so let's put that aside and of course this one from a pillow and you can always buy a pillow from goodwill if you want to you can also use or recycle yours but of course wash it before you put it somewhere inside the gnome especially of our project always always wash it okay so and of course a glue gun all right so let's get started all right so first what we need to do is take off the tags yes take them off and what I want is I want to cut this hat in half so you will think what am I doing it should have been perfect yes you can leave it like that you can do whatever you want but I want the size where I want it to be okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this area, okay, like a little bit of half. It's, it's, this is a half, but I'm going to cut one fourth, okay. So I'm going to cut it this way. Okay, do not throw this one, guys. We are going to use this on our gnome's arms, okay. So set that aside. And we will finish that one later. Next is we are going to cut this inside in here. And okay, so we're just going to cut this like so. And we are going to remove this black something inside. It doesn't need to be perfect because... We are, it's going to be the inside anyway. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just cutting it up. I will try to be fast, guys. I know, I'm so slow. And next, 
what you need to do is with this one that you just cut you can use this as your filler as well so i'm going to use that so i'm going to put that aside and then next is you are going to glue this together since it's all open okay so glue this side this way and all the way to the end okay Okay, so we are done. What we are going to do is we are just going to let it dry, okay? We're not going to force it because it's still wet in there. So we just have to wait until it's all dry off. Okay, so next is we are going to clean this because we are going to use this as our gnome's arm. So we're just going to cut this area down here and then you can keep that for one of your fillers but you don't have to if you don't want to so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this filler okay as usual i love to use base filler so i got to have a filler all the time and we are going to use the silver this time. I don't have a bigger round ball today, but that's fine. Let's use that size. Why not? So we are going to do this one and let's just roll it and roll it until we all finish from rolling, okay? So I make this hand pretend to be halfway in that sleeve and you can just close this and there is our gnome's arm almost done now let's finish the other one okay So it is done. Our gnome's arms are already done. Okay. Next, what we are going to do is we are going to turn this inside out. See, I like that when it is a little bit long. So there you go. And we are going to fill this up with a rock. Rock goes first. And I'm going to pour everything down here. Alright, so it's like that looking. It's like almost a ball somehow. So with this rock inside in here, it's going to hold your gnome in place. Okay, so let's fill this up with a filler. You can also use this inside so it's basically you're not wasting everything because <laughs> you use almost everything okay so what I did is I just tie it with a yarn and a rubber band first and then a yarn to secure the top ones so what I'm aiming is this going to be the back of our gnome and this is going to be the front of our gnome. Okay, so let's put this aside. As usual in my previous video, I use a felt and I start from here, gluing it. And I'm aiming that this is going to be close to the body of the gnome. So it's not going to show colors down here. So this is just going to be just like that okay and I'm just going to press it down like so 
Okay, so it'll be the gnome's nose, just like that. Okay, so I'm just going to keep on going until this form circle. And you don't have to worry in this one area because we are going to make this one closest to the gnome's body anyways so just make sure that this kind of open right there is going to be glued all the way in so it's not fluffing or flying everywhere on the gnome's face okay just secure it and make sure that they are close <laughs> It's all done and it's going to be the gnome's nose, just like that. And now we are going to grab our second hat. I'm just going to clean this up, get all the tags away. And you don't have to cut this, guys. Just leave it alone, okay? And what I'm going to do is I am aiming. This is the back. So I am trying to aim of where to put our gnome's nose. Okay. So possible this could be right here. All right, so our gnome's nose are already in there. Next, what we are going to work is our gnome's beard. So this is the tricky part, all right? So bear with me. Okay, so you grab your mop. What you're gonna do is you are going to cut them from all the way in, close to this mop down here. So that's what I'm just trying to do. And just cut them. Okay, so for now, let's do this one and try to start on this area, okay? So next is you're going to fold them in half, okay, and then cut them. Alright, so once they're all cut in half, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your gnome, okay, lay it flat like that, and you are going to start gluing it, okay? So start here in this ball, and what I'm trying to do is I start in the middle on that gnome's nose, and just tuck it in, okay? All right, so let's do it again. It's going to take time because you have to do this one by one. So you just have to follow the gnome's nose. So like what I'm doing right now is you just have to follow it like from the top and just let it form like that on that gnome's nose, okay? So don't worry about this one because we are going to work out somehow, okay? And then go to the this side right here. Just tuck it in, like tuck, okay? You see here in this nose, so as you can see in this nose down here, you just have to tuck it in just like that and then just curve it away. Okay, so tuck it in like that. So 
So what I'm trying to do right now, I'm just going to level this up just like that, like straight line, okay? Because it'll be covered by the gnome's hat anyway. So just level this up. So how high is your the height of your gnome's nose right there? All you have to do is level it out like that, okay? Straight line. And all you have to do is poke them again the glued area is going to be on the gnome's body okay And then I'm going to add more down here on the gnome's nose. So these are going to be covered down there. So I'm going to try to cover this up, okay? All right, so I think it's time for us to do another layer at the bottom. So all you have to do, since this part right here are more drier, all you have to do is you just have to flip it up. So you have to tuck some more down here at the bottom, okay? I kind of want to do this one by one so then I know that my thread or my mop somehow goes or sticking real good to that body of the gnome. That is doing well and there you go there is our gnomes beard they're kind of like layered already but we are not yet done so next what you're gonna do is I want you to undo this thread of this gnome so they're going to be fluffier and more tons of hair going okay so i'm going to make this video closer you can leave it like that if you want to but i want somehow like a little bit more nicer so it doesn't look like it's obvious from the mop so what i'm trying to do is i'm just trying to undo this braids of this mop Cause seem like they have dreadlocks so it's more cooler see just like that I'm going to show you how I do it I'm going to make this video closer so you can see what I'm talking about you just have to do it just like that all right so as you can see guys that's one of the reason that i want you to to glue it one by one because once you are trying to pull these dreads of the mop or somehow the braids of the mop it's not going to pull out from the space where you glued it so that's why i recommend that you glue them one by one okay so look how beautiful that is already and it's more fuller and thicker and it's more tons of hair on it so all you have to do is you don't have to worry about this yet you can trim it if you want to but yeah maybe we should do that okay so i'm just going to trim it like not even perfect just like that just leave it like that for me 
and there you go I think that is super perfect and I usually use a lint roller to remove fuzzies because they're more perfect to that okay so now we are going to work on our gnomes hat I'm going to fill a little bit of this one on my gnomes hat because it's I want it to be a little bit fuller a little bit on the top not so much but at least something fluffy on the top okay so it doesn't feel like it's empty and what you need to do is now you can tuck in your gnomes hat just like that and you can work on your gnome's nose see as you can see it works super perfect just like that okay and you can just arrange it nicely the gnome's hair or gnome's beard this is going to be a girl guys i'm going to put a braids on it so i want you to bear with me okay All right, so right now I'm cutting six of this mop hair and I am going to braid them up so I hope it will work out. We are going to braid like this for our gnome. So Next, what you're going to do is you are going to tape this one or tie it from that mop as well. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just trying to tie the end and tape the end. And I like classic, guys. I want just to use everything from the mop so it's more likely a gnome status of life so I'm going to tape that out to hold it down and then I'm going to start braiding all right and I'm going to grab another end of this mop and I'm just going to tie it like normal tie not just normal but regular tie you know don't tie it so hard because it's going to pull your gnomes hair braided so it's supposed to be look like that so it's got to be look like that next is you are going to tuck this in like so so it looks like our gnomes got a braided hair so it's a girl's gnome so just like that and it's kind of looking pretty already and I want it like that so right now I just grabbed that ornament out from there I just removed it and then I will toss it away and I'm going to use this base filler and I think I'm going to use this gold So there you go, there's our snowman, got a little fluffy on the hat. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to tuck in this braided hair of our gnomes, our gnomes hair, and try to glue it under if you already know how far and how low your hair would be. Of your gnome's hair so I'm just going to try to make it look almost even so they're more likely nice and pretty and let's see if they are even yep it's so I just have to glue it in there and then you don't have to glue the top yet so you really know how far you can go okay so next is you are going to put your snowman down there so your gnome is kind of like holding your snowman 
So what I want is I want this snowman is almost holding at the bottom, holding right there. So I think I reached the desired distance of my gnome's arm. So now I'm going to try and glue this gnome's arms, okay? So always starts at the shoulder and then the armpit. Alright, so I'm just going to keep on gluing this area and stay with me, okay? Alright, sorry you won't be able to see it, but I'm going to make this one lay down right now. Alright, so next is I'm going to add this ornament. Okay. So I'm just going to wait until they all dry. See, look, it's making sounds. Super pretty and with that I think we are done and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this on the gnome's legs so it looks like they have a feet okay so I'm going to show you in the video standing so oh I forgot I'm going to show you the male one it's a gnome. It's it's a guy gnome, and this is what I made. And look at that. They have the same. They have the same um, hat. So they are a couple. Couple gnome sound like. <laughs> so I also have this heart for the gnome's feet. So they look like they have a feet, okay? And I'm going to show you a closer look with our gnome, all right? So bear with me. So what do you think about that gnome? I like it. So I hope you like it too. It's super easy and cheap. So if you already have those items in your drawers, go grab it and make some. But don't use the one that you already use, especially the mop, okay? <laughs> go get a newer one in case if you want to use that for a gift idea, okay? So yes. Thank you so much for coming by again and for staying with me today. And you guys are awesome. Remember that you are awesome. And you guys take care and have an awesome day. Bye.